Okay, so this one's concat. Implement the JavaScript array.concat function in, in the type system. Uh, so it takes two arguments. The output should be the new array, and uh, that includes inputs in left to right order. So if we have an array with one and we concat it with another one that just has the value two, then we get back a new array which has two values. The first value is one and the second value is two. Okay, pretty straightforward. So same business here. Uh, what do you? Where would you start? What do you? What are you thinking? Um, so I want them both to be arrays. Mm -hmm. So these extends again. And I'll format you as we go because we can. We only got sixty characters to work with. All right. Then I don't know whether I can, but you know, if I was dealing with like runtime values, I would spread them. But I don't Try really it. know if that's possible, but maybe T. But auto completed for you. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Maybe that'll do it. Yep, that's it. You got it. Um, it, it's always nice when, when the TypeScript type like looks, looks like the way that you would write it when you're dealing with with values, we're dealing with the runtime. Sometimes the logic is weird. Like you use extends the way you'd use equals, and sometimes that kind of makes the types confusing. Yes. Um, so whenever it kind of stays within that syntax of of values, it's always easier for me to to understand and deal with. I love it as well. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a nice convenience when that when that day comes. Um, this one I looked online for other examples of how other people solve this, and I didn't find much. The only one I found, um, which does pass the tests, if we search, if we uh, if we rename things here, um, this passes all the tests. But I, this one is not so great. So you did the right thing, I think, which is that you put a constraint on the generic. You forced it to say that t is a uh, T and U are both arrays, but if we made a new, like let's say we made, uh, you know, like, uh, oops, let's say we made A5, B5, C5 here, and then we passed in some other thing here, like we passed in A. Um, can This one down here that we have won't error. It will return never, which is, I guess, correct, but really it's, it's usually better just to have, like, if you know in advance that you only want to accept arrays, if you do it this way with the with the generic constraints like you did, then you get an error here that's pretty easy to understand. It says string does not satisfy the constraint unknown array. So that's just something on that. But yeah, that's it. There was no other way that I saw to do this. This seems like this is. Uh, I'm sure there's some like quirky way with iteration and uh, like recursion, but this this was predominantly the way people solve this one is the way you did it. So cool.